I don't understand what this guy's doing. Sandokan from the Necromongers. What are you doing? <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. I'm not actually here at my house. I am in uh, Boston for PAX East, so I may see some of you out there. If any of you live in Boston and you're in the area and you have tickets to PAX East, head on over. Me and Nick are both going to be there. But as you can see, I have a new ridiculous base design for my Town Hall 10, guys. Uh, it's kind of trolly. Actually, it's very trolly, especially with this first replay that I'm going to show you guys. It's already won a bunch of defenses for me. It has lost one, but it hasn't been two-starred yet. So I'm interested to see because I am up in uh, Masters 3 right now. So you can see right there <laughs> that there's a hole on top of that Tesla, and he drops a minion in just to pull up the Teslas. Now, he's going to freeze first and waste like four seconds of his free spell and then just drop all of these minions off and do absolutely nothing. <laughs> so he wasn't able, he didn't freeze the Inferno Tower, he freezed the Tesla and then once again he doesn't freeze the Inferno Tower. I don't understand what this guy's doing. Sandokan from the Necromongers, what are you doing? <laughs> so he's trying really really hard to get my town hall and he's just failing epically like I don't he hasn't touched the town hall yet which is hilarious to me so I think he drops off his queen and his king here um he he doesn't know what's going on he's wasted so much time he drops off his king his king heads in the wrong direction that looked like a jump spell that he just dropped and now he drops his queen off and she's finally focusing on the town hall but it's not nearly enough so here goes the lava pups and they get taken out and Sandokin's probably, look at this, he drops off all these archers and not a single one of them shoot an arrow in enough time to even touch the town hall. So he's sitting there probably completely pissed off, just extremely confused, only getting 19% and giving me 23 trophies. And now we're both up in Masters too. So pretty hilarious, definitely hilarious. Um... But this next guy isn't able to get any stars either, but he is going after my Dark Elixir because there's almost 4,000 of it. So, uh, I think he got what he was coming for, uh, <laughs> which is kind of sucks because I wanted my Dark Elixir. But I also want to see how high I can get on defense by just making ridiculous bases like this um, and just winning on defense because it's going really, really well. I might move my Dark Elixir in towards the top where some of those Elixir storages are, but as you can see, he's coming in and he's just going to town. Uh, the Inferno Tower is doing a lot of work, but he just got 3,000 Dark Elixir from me, Mr. Dan Rock 2 from Fish Fighters. Uh, I wonder if he's talking about the band Fish. I don't know. But, yeah, so he comes in, he's got his P.E.K.K.A. right there doing work, but our Tesla is absolutely wrecking his P.E.K.K.A., and slowly but surely, he is fading away from uh, any sort of victory. He does, he's, he wastes so much time with these archers over here on the side. Look at this. He's just waiting when he's at 25%. I don't know if he thinks he's going to get 50 or not. Maybe he's trying to get into the rest of that Dark Elixir. Who really knows? Um, but he's going to end up giving up in just a second. We're going to go ahead and fast forward. You can see my little skeleton traps coming around and hanging out underneath that Christmas tree. But... Um, I am excited to see the future attacks that happen on this base. Uh, as you guys know, I've been spending a lot more time on my Town Hall 8. I'm pushing that up. I'm trying to get that to a max Town Hall 8. So my Town Hall 10 is, uh, I don't know, I'm not spending as much time on it, so it's fun doing these kinds of things and then signing on after like a day or two and seeing all this stuff happen. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun. This next one, though, this guy's going to go all out with an old school Balloonian. He's not going to have any Lava Hounds in it or anything like that. He's going to pick off a couple of these free buildings. And the fact that he's doing that makes me think that for sure he is going for um, the 50%. So he is, heading, he is heading right in here and he's going to get that Dark Elixir. But he's not going to do much else. He is not going to do much else. He is trying to get um, the Town Hall. He is going to get the 50%, I believe, but he's not going to get my town hall because I've got so many defenses around it that are just in there wrecking it right now. His minions are traveling in a herd, which is good for my wizards, but also bad for him because my wizards were able to take all of them down to like a quarter health, but I wasn't able to destroy a lot of them. So that was a little bit frustrating as well. He has a 42% right there. His queen, level 30, is coming in and he's like, man, I really freaking wanted that town hall. 
But uh, I guess I'm going to have to settle for the 50% over here. Our queen is just sitting there and she's like, I don't know, she looks a little bit intimidating. She's a level 30, I'm a level 25. I'm going to come over here and watch though. She's just sitting there watching her like, I think I like her outfit. I'm going to ask her where she got it from. That queen is almost at 50%, guys. There she goes, even lower down. He uses her ability, and then our queen just gets squashed by those minions because their queen wasn't even focused on our queen. She was focused on something else. So he did come in, get that dark elixir, got that 51%, but didn't get the two star. So I'll be sure to show you guys some more replays in the future. But for now, be calm. <laughs> what the? Keep calm and clash on. Way to fail, Mole. I'll see you guys later. Peace.